Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Mayanthi. I'm a qualified counsellor and I usually make videos on how I became a counsellor and what you might want to know if you're looking to become a counsellor as well. But in today's video, I'm doing a daily vlog, a little come with me because today is my first mums group. So if you haven't watched my other videos, I'm a mum to a nearly six week old or sorry, just over six week old. And the council offers like a mums group so you can go and meet other mums in the area who also have babies um, at, kind of at a similar age. So today is the first one and it's actually my first day going out with the baby alone. Um, so I've not done that yet. Um, so it's a little bit nerve wracking. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly but I thought I'd document this and make a little vlog because... I know there's probably a lot of other mums out there and um, it can be a little anxiety causing to go out of the house for the first time. I mean, I've been out of the house, but actually putting the baby in the car and driving somewhere by yourself. Um, I don't know if as a first time mum, it is a little bit scary to me. If you're a first time mum watching this, let me know what your experience was like in the comments. Because, um, yeah, it's nice to kind of hear other people's experiences as well. But I thought I'm just doing my skincare and getting ready to go. So I thought I would start the vlog and um, yeah, take you with me. Now I have to get this little one ready. He's still asleep. Um, so I'll show you. Oh, he's waking up. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you him when he's all ready to go. So we're both ready to go now and yeah it's going to be interesting we'll let you know how it goes after we get home i might show you a bit of like getting in the car and stuff um but as i said this is my first outing just him and i in the car so um, yeah <laughs> he's getting excited for that aren't you so we've gotten here a bit early and we're just sitting in the car i wanted to get here early so we can get a good park close to the center so here he is <laughs> um, but yeah we made it to touch wood here and hopefully the group goes well and then we'll see you when we go home so I just got back and it didn't go as I expected when we got there he basically started crying and I think he was hungry but now I think he's tired because he slept all the way home and he's still asleep but Basically, I went in. I was the first one there. I got there early, as I said, I wanted to, um, but I think that also kind of, I didn't figure out the timing of feeding him. So I think he was hungry and tired and sleepy. Um, so he just started crying and everyone arrived and he still didn't stop crying and he was crying quite loud. So I felt bad that I was kind of we were disrupting everyone else and no one could hear anyone <laughs> saying anything. Um, so I just thought I'll just leave. And um, the lady did say I could go in her room and close the door um, and feed him, but I didn't actually take any um, bottles for him because I didn't think it would be feeding time. I thought we would be able to get home and I could feed him. Um, but there is apparently another group next week at the same time. So um hopefully I can go then take a bottle this time um but yeah these are the lessons I'm learning as a first time mum going out in the world with a baby um who has all these needs and they can't talk to us and tell us what they want um so yeah so I feel pretty disappointed that I couldn't stay and properly meet everyone I did meet one um lady who seemed to be really nice and I really want to get to know her more so Hopefully next week she'll be there as well. Um, but yeah, we're home now and I'm going to have some lunch. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the little one who is now asleep. Here he is, fast asleep, looking all cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's always a bit embarrassing when your baby's the only one crying in a room full of babies. But hopefully next week I'll be more prepared. So it's a few days later now and we thought we'd do a little drive out as a family um, we haven't really been out anywhere just the three of us since I had um, Siam so I thought it's about time we got out he's had his vaccinations now 
and um, yeah so my husband has found a spot for us to go to I don't know where it is because I love a good surprise um, but I've just gotten Cyan dressed and ready my husband's just in the shower getting ready um, yeah I've put on a cute little outfit on Cyan so I'll show you that in a second as well so here he is in his little bear outfit I'm hoping today will be a better day out <laughs> compared to um, the mums group as I mentioned earlier but he is smiling at the moment, so let's hope <laughs> it stays like that. But yeah, how cute is this little two-piece bear outfit? I think my mum got it for me from somewhere. But um, yeah, we're... <laughs> Look at this one. Um, we're dressed and ready. I just need to get all the bags and stuff, and I need to get some milk ready. This is going to be our first time kind of, as I said, taking him out, but also making sure we have milk with me. Um, so... Yeah, I think we need to take a flask and some um, formula and then some just boiled cool water as well so we can mix it all up. But we'll take you with us. So I've just finished packing the bag. I've got some nappies, wipes, some extra clothes, a changing mat and some other few things in there. And we've got the hot water, which is needed for the milk. So we're going a bit more prepared this time. And I'm also taking this instax camera which is actually quite huge and my husband got this for me as a wedding anniversary gift this year and um this is actually the wide version so it's quite big like this is my hand and this is quite it's kind of bigger than my hand so it's a bit more bulky to carry around um but it gives you like a wider picture and it also has a flash so he said he chose this one because it had a few more Kind of options to it um but yeah the photos come out nice it's just a bit heavy and bulky so that's the only downside but we're going to take this with us and try and get some pictures as well from El Jana, I think it's called. It's um, a new franchise that's come to Melbourne and it's kind of like a fast food chain, but like Middle Eastern. Um, and I just got a fried chicken burger. Here it is. So I'll do a taste test and let you know how it is. Oh. First impressions, it's falling apart a little bit, but let's try. So it's not bad, it's kind of like KFC, but I, I think I prefer KFC's Zinger Burger. Um, this one, I don't know, it's a little bit, yeah, dry and haven't got much flavour yet. So that's my feedback on this, but I'll still eat it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little day out with us and the earlier bit about the mother's group. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.